Hi, good afternoon. Get some more light in here. Oh. How are you? Let's talk about some oils. Hi, Reba. Let's do some um, oil chat. Uh, hi, Jana. Well, I was supposed to do this Sunday and um, was not in the mood. I was super tired on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe a month. I like them a lot. Hi. How's it going? Thanks for sharing. I wanted to talk to you about, thank you, they're so much more comfortable than the other ones. I want to talk to you about two oils. And both of these oils have an enormous amount of oils in them. So it may take us a few minutes. And then I need to run in the house and check on the other cats. It's, yeah, it's cat crazy around here. So let's talk about, um, the Ula oils are blends done in partnership with Young Living, but developed by two doctors. Uh, I think it's ulalife.com or just Ula, and Ula is O-O-L-A. Michelle's actually going to go to Ula Palooza, which is a two-day event with those guys learning about their oils and um, thanks how to use them and they make a set of seven for different categories of your life and then they make one called grow and one called balance. I use Ula Grow in my Desire Map level two. Oh, ulalife.com. Thank you. Level two Desire Map people get a small bottle of highest potential. Hi, Linda. And a small bottle of Ula Grow, and here's why. Ula Grow will knock your socks off. If you feel stuck, um, Ula Grow will start things moving for you. It um, greases the wheel, so to speak, and you will feel it like a kick in the pants. So I recommend people start with Grow and then use Balance to, you know, when you make a quantum leap into a new place in your life, you need help sometimes balancing and stabilizing your body when you're bringing in new energies. Uh, you just, I just smell it. I got a note from somebody the other night that, we, or yesterday, that wearing it was just too much. And so I asked, just suggested to her to just smell it twice a day or diffuse it. Uh, it smells amazing. If you can tolerate wearing it, you can put it on your handy dandy oil diffuser bracelet, or you can diffuse it, or you can just put a drop on. Oh, it smells so good, so good. All of the Ula oils smell really good. So, uh, I wanted to use heal some uh, woundedness areas and judgments around finance. So. I didn't want to use finance just by itself. So I got finance, but I also got forgiveness to deal with the judgment. Yeah, and these two I am wearing one drop on each bracelet once a day, and then I wear the bracelet all day. And let me tell you what, things are shifting to the point that I can imagine in my head being able to produce several thousand dollars a month more than I'm producing now. So much more that in the last, I want to say 48 hours, since Friday night or Saturday, I've been able to shift my mindset from thinking that several hundreds of dollars a month for a coaching class I want to take was absolutely ludicrous to absolutely possible. So that's not all I've been doing, but the finance oil and the forgiveness oil is shifting, helping me shift my belief pattern. So it's not like you put it on and then it just, you know, magically does its thing. What happens is you feel the impulse, definitely, Jana, definitely get it. You feel the urge to do work on yourself that maybe you've been resisting. So that's how it works. It like seems to amp up the awareness of where your false beliefs are or your limiting beliefs are and gives you the motivation to work at them either by getting a coach, taking a workshop, uh, journaling, doing your own work. Um, yes, it 
gives you the interest, first of all the awareness, then the interest and the motivation to undo what needs to be undone. So it's not magic. It's bringing it to light. It's bringing your subconscious stuff to light. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I was using faith before this. Faith in myself. Faith in my abilities. Uh, faith in my connection to God. So let's talk about finance first. And I think these two go together. Oh, good. <laughs> good. It worked really well. Faith in myself. Yeah, faith in my ability to connect to God and hear source. Yay! Uh, family's great. Yeah, yeah. There, it's hard to know where to start, but because my financial needs have been great and it's been a long-term stubborn area that I've not made a lot of progress in until literally like the last, I'm going to say the last two weeks since I started using it. We need to forgive ourselves for financial mistakes. We need to forgive ourselves for not understanding how money works. We need to forgive ourselves for mistakes we've made. So I wanted to use them together and that's why, because I've made financial mistakes. I've carried around limiting beliefs. No way, go tackle her and make, and wrestle your oils away from her. <laughs> the male lady, bing bong, the male lady's here. So let's talk about finance first. Go give her a big mwah kiss. Or don't. That will get you assault charges. So don't do that. <laughs> let's read about finance real quick. And it's not real quick because there's like 70 zillion oils in here. So finance comes with an affirmation, which I don't have because I don't use affirmations for myself. I don't really like them that much. And for myself, I don't find them effective. So I go for feeling. So when I'm wearing finance, I go for the feeling of resourcefulness and resources, having, being familiar with, being comfortable with. Um, I stretch the boundaries of what I can imagine being in my checking accounts and savings account. I am financially free and living abundantly is the affirmation that comes with the bottle. Each one of the seven comes with an affirmation. Ula Grow and Ula Balance do not. So here's, I'm just going to read you the list of oils because it's insane. Frankincense, orange, okotea, Idaho balsam fir, citronella, geranium, coriander, whoops, lavender, cardamom, gal, galbanum, galbanum, lang lang, rosemary, bergamot, peppermint, melissa, black spruce, myrrh, spikenard, I, oh, I don't know. I'll look just a second. Cinnamon, lemon, jasmine, rose. We all know how rose powerful it is. Roman chamomile, also another powerful one. Palmarosa neroli. And it's in fractionated coconut oil. Let me see if the affirmation is here on the bottle. The bottle is so tiny. It's so teeny weeny tiny. And if you don't know... Most of the little bottles, oils, have a little corner right here. If you peel it back, there's information in there. I have run across people who didn't know that. Uh, no, it's just an ingredients list. Unless I'm missing it, which I could because I'm serious. This print is super tiny. Mm, yeah, no, I don't see it. But you can get it on the website. It's easy to find. So let me say that again. Frankincense, orange, okotea, Idaho balsam fir, citronella, geranium, lavender, cardamom, coriander, galbanum, lang lang, rosemary, bergamot, peppermint, melissa, black spruce, myrrh, spikenard, cinnamon, lemon, jasmine, rose, roman chamomile, palmarosa, and neroli. How many is that? That's a zillion. I know. Melissa is an incredibly powerful oil and it's hard to get. And it's very expensive, and it's very rare. It's very hard to get, almost as hard, if not harder, than sandalwood, which you actually can't get right now. So uh, that's a big deal. And I, I'm not going to go through each of these oils. You can imagine. Here's the thing with oils like this. Let me just bottom line it for you. I think so. I think it's still out of stock. Last time I looked. The Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood is there, but I don't think the regular Sandalwood is, but I could be wrong about that. 
The thing about the Ula oils and the thing about a lot of essential oils is you need to use it as an opportunity to practice your intuition. Different oils work differently for different people, for different bodies. Oh, maybe they do. It, it's a detail. It doesn't really matter. Uh, if people want to look for it, they can, they can do it. Um, the, um, you want to use your gut instinct on oils when you're picking them. You, if you can, if you, you can get your hands on a bottle, you can even hold it on your solar plexus or on your heart and just tune in. Just feel, is this right for me? Uh, is this going to be the one that will help me make that leap in my personal development that I'm looking for? Your gut instinct, your body wisdom is going to help you more than your head. So if you get in your head, then you're going to, yeah, you're going to be like, how much does this cost? And how many oils are in it? And what does each oil do? And do I want to try that? And analyze and pro and con and, you know, delay, basically. Look at the oil. Get quiet. Check in with your intuition. Think about the oil. If it feels like a yearning in your heart or a pull in your solar plexus, that's the oil for you. Here's an example. There are many different pain blends. Only one of them works for me. There's Deep Relief, there's Pan Away, there's Copa Eba, which is a single oil, and there's other blends that people put, to, put together. Copa Eba is the only one that works for me. Sometimes Deep Relief will work, Pan Away never works. If I use my intuition, I know not to even bother with Pan Away. Just go straight for the Deep Relief. Um, and then from Deep Relief, I went just to the single oil, Copa Eva, which works best for me almost 100% of the time. Um, I don't think I've used just plain wintergreen. Isn't it in Panaway, though? Is, it's in one of them, isn't it? I haven't used it single. So, uh, because different oils work for different people, I strongly encourage you to use your intuition when you're picking them. If finance feels like a draw for you, get finance. If you need to work with field or forgiveness first before you tackle finance, go with that. Go with the one that you feel in your heart, not with the one you're evaluating in your head. Skip your head chatter and go straight for your gut instinct when you're choosing essential oils. You might not be able to tackle finance issues right away. You might need to go through the layers and work with highest potential first or work with dream catcher first to even consider that you have potentials that you don't know about. Maybe you need to go through forgiveness by itself first and then tackle finance. I knew I was ready to do forgiveness and finance together, but it has been extremely powerful and it's required me to work with some very strong energies and some very old beliefs. Uh, because of my training, I can do that. Uh, I still get help, though. I still process it with people. So it's not even that I'm doing it by myself. But go with your gut. This is a great opportunity to train your own intuition when you're choosing oils. So you can ask yourself, am I ready to tackle finance? Maybe I need to do family first. Go through all of them. You can just pull them up on the website. Put a hand on your heart and a hand on your, your solar plexus and just... Close your eyes and feel. Imagine the bottle in your head and feel it. I don't know how else to say it. Feel it. And then let's talk about forgiveness, which is another one that I like to pair with things. So if I'm working on family issues, I might, comp I might pair it with forgiveness. Because if there's conflict in the family, there's a need for forgiveness someplace. Uh, if you're working with your marriage, you probably need to work with forgiveness somewhere, either in the current relationship or past family of origin relationships. So forgiveness is a kind of a good one to work in any area where you are struggling because often it's lack of forgiveness or a need for forgiveness to give or to receive forgiveness that's tripping us up. Forgiveness starts with Melissa. So, like, just like we were talking about earlier, there's a little bit of Melissa in finance. It's the largest oil in forgiveness, Melissa is. 
The oils in this blend have powerful emotional effects that may help people move past the barriers in life by bringing them to a higher spiritual awareness of their needs. Sometimes our spiritual needs are being neglected and we need to focus on them before we even address our physical bank account. This awareness leaves an angelic feeling in the soul that raises the frequency to the point that they are almost compelled to forgive, forget, let go, and go on with their lives. So all the reasons you're not forgiving will come to your awareness, and so you need to be prepared to deal with it. Again, you don't put the oil on and have it magic. It's not like a magic eraser. It's not Mr. Clean's magic eraser product. It's bringing it to your awareness so that you can hear it, see it, feel it, move through it, and choose a different maze balls is right so the oils in this one are melissa geranium so there's some similarities frankincense rosewood sandalwood angelica lavender lemon jasmine roman chamomile again bergamot again lang lang also again palmarosa is a duplicate helichrysum helichrysum i never pronounced that one correctly Helichrysum and rose. So you got a double whammy of rose if you're using uh, forgiveness and finance together. It's reference. There's a Bible reference here. I don't know what it means, but if you guys are Bible savvy, you can look it up. It's Matthew 6, verses 14 through 15. Don't know why that's there. Uh, I don't know what, which oil it's related to. This oil is listed as having a high spiritual frequency um, and asks that you put it over your navel and your heart. May also be worn as a perfume or cologne. Uh, when diffused, it may stimulate one to feel the need to forgive themselves and others for their transgressions. The oils in this blend are effective for dealing with problems related to emotional balance and it's in a sesame seed carrier oil and again this is the book that I'm reading from. This is the 2016 edition. Um, so let me read to you a little bit about Melissa because it is a powerful oil. Excuse me, I'm going to drop this because it is hot in here. It's hot in this little camper. Uh, it's good because it has all the Ula blends in it, and the, my older one didn't have them in it. So I like it. I do wish they'd put a different cover on it, though, because I didn't get the two books confused. So Melissa is a gentle and delicate because of the nature of the plant. It has the ability to work with and enhance the gentle aspects of good. Sarah! I miss Sarah coming in. Hello, Sarah. Welcome back. Are you back? Welcome back from your journey of magnificence. The awareness leaves an angelic... Uh, no, no, no. Sorry. Reading the wrong section. It is calming and uplifting and ba may help balance the emotions. It may also help remove emotional blocks. Are you tuning in from Costa Rica? Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. You guys, Sarah is like living life on the beach right now and growing and changing and expanding and uplifting us all as a result of her own efforts. It may help instill a positive outlook on life. Uh, so let me run through them one more time. Again, it's just, so you've got two super knock your socks off blends. So you may want to ask yourself, is it too much to use them both together? Or can my system handle that? Uh, am I ready to tackle forgiveness and finance in the same span? Or would it be more appropriate to work with this first and then this? You just want to check that stuff out for yourself. So again, it's got Melissa, geranium, frankincense, rosewood, sandalwood, angelica, lavender, lemon, jasmine, roman chamomile, bergamot, lang lang, palmarosa, helichrysum, helichrysum, and rose. And there's several in there. There's several oils in here that we've talked about in the past that help relieve anger. 
It says about helichrysum that on a spiritual level it may help one let go of angry feelings that prevent one from forgiving and moving forward in life. So if we're stuck in a place and having trouble forgiving ourselves or others, we generally have to clear the anger around it or the betrayal or, you know, the shame, whatever it was that's holding you back from forgiving and opening up your energy flows again. Roman chamomile we've talked about is good for anger. German chamomile is stronger, but Roman chamomile is good for that too. Uh, because it has to do with the liver. Suppose, you know, in theory we hold anger in the liver, so there's several livers here. Lang Lang helps balance male and female energies, lifting you towards spiritual attunement, clearing out garbage. Rose is, a, you know, an amazing heart opener. Lavender, Angelica, I mean, come on, there's nothing in here that you can go wrong with. Jasmine, Rosewood, Sandalwood, and then, you know, you're starting out with Melissa in this oil, and you've got Melissa in this one, too. So, you can think about what you want to do, but when it comes to emotional and spiritual growth with these oils, start using your um, inner knowing whether you pray or you meditate or you take a walk and think about it and wait for the one to pop in your head or you feel a particular physical yearning toward one or the other or both follow that and there you go so what's happened for me is i've uh, become aware of some significant old beliefs that i needed to address that once i became aware of them you know we're good I ran across a recording that helped me see how to move energy in my own body in a completely different way. I've been doing that since Thursday and things are just, you know, click, click. I'm serious, like clicking into place for some massive changes in my life. Um, massive, so massive that I couldn't even imagine them uh, two weeks ago. It's that quick. I've run across a woman named Elizabeth Purvis, P-U-R-V-I-S. I'm not interested in buying her full course, but she does have a series of videos that are helpful to watch. Um, yeah. So Elizabeth Purvis is the art of feminine magic. Yeah. So she has a video series that you can sign up for. She had a little workshop thing yesterday. Uh... She has you asking questions in a different way and doing your manifestation by committing to it um, and then uh, committing to it and being willing to step into the actual being of this new space to be able to allow whatever is in your, um, your field, your history, your genetics, your family. Oh gosh. I wonder why I had the alarm set for 3.30. That's weird. Um, I think awareness may be the key. We know that we have blocks and we can't always see them. Sometimes people can point them out to us, but not usually because we tend to reject what other people tell us. But it helps you be in the right place at the right time to sign up for a series of videos that are free and bring to you information. It helps that you're aware of someone doing a radio show on Thursday that contains enough information to rattle loose, you know, a new way of seeing the world that completely shifts your dynamic when it comes to money. Uh, it enables dream activity to go up so that you can be aware of where in your um, your family history like if we believe if we can believe that our DNA contains family patterns those things may need to come into your awareness that's what the oils do is bring it up for you so you can see it so when you use an oil to make a breakthrough it's not gonna be puppies and kittens usually there's usually some pain involved. There's usually some tears involved. There's usually some anger or whatever it is that's been holding you back. You're reaching for finance? Great. Everything that's in between you and finance in this, you know, gap in the middle 
has to be brought up so that you can clear it out and move a little closer to what you want. And you're actually not moving from one place to another. You're learning to relax, open your energy up so that what is here already can be revealed to you. I say life revealed, I hashtag life revealed a lot because it's about you. It's about your eyes being opened. It's about your heart being opened so that you see what's stopping you and when you see it and you recognize it and you can feel your way through it then you're free then you can reach towards something and actually have it materialize a lot faster so if you're stuck look at the ula blends there's seven um in just a second i'll tell you the seven there's actually nine. Ula Grow and Ula Balance is the ones I've been using for years. But these are the new ones. Let me just real quick. Oops. Get off there, kitty. There's Faith. Oop. There's fi Finance. Yeah, the shift is the stuff coming up. You don't shift, uh, you know, you don't shift without the stuff that's been keeping you in a holding pattern breaking loose and coming up into your awareness. Ula Balance Grow Faith which is gratitude help you feel secure in claiming your place in the world faith in your own abilities there's family Find and express feelings of love from family relationships. Field uh, and help you with your true potential. I teach a desire map class uh, for young living business people. And I recommend, I'm going to be recommending that they use field with that. And highest potential. And finance too, if that's the problem. If you're not progressing in your business it may be because you're, you've got blocks to having that money come in. Uh, finance, then there's one for fitness. There's one for friends. One for fun. So you can go on the website and find those. If you don't have a young living person, you can message me. Um, and I can uh, get you hooked up or answer your questions any questions that you have just let me know or you can go to caddyshackdesigns.com and there's a tab that says YL essential oils if you just want to dive right in these are not in the starter kit okay so if you order a premium starter kit you'll have to order these as additional oils but they'll be at the wholesale price which is 24% off so we like 24% off <laughs> and that's a pretty good deal and then you get them a little faster if you're ordering them with the kit. Meow kitty. Meow kitty. This kitty's getting a lots of lavender. Young living lavender oil. Because he's super needy. And he's kind of stinky. Because he's been in the woods for a while. He's our little rescue guy. So, alright, that's all I got. Oh, play. It's playtime. That's all I have for you this afternoon. I will be back tomorrow with the Dow to Gene and Byron Katie studies. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye. You're welcome.